Hello everyone, welcome here sa ating munting kusina. Welcome here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. I am going to make our lunch today. So I have here 600 grams of this drumstick chicken. So I make sure that I wash it thoroughly in cold water. I make a slit per chicken uh, drumstick so that once I season it, it will uh, absorb into um, the chicken. So I'm going to transfer the, the entire 600 grams of this uh, chicken. So using my clean hands, I'm going to season that with uh, salt and then black pepper and sukang maasim or spice coconut vinegar maybe um, five tablespoons of vinegar you can use lemon if you want and then toyo or soya sauce mm, maybe five tablespoons of soya sauce and i have here uh, this dry oregano dry oregano flakes we'll just add this one but if you don't have uh, this can be very optional you can use thyme rosemary uh, cilantro um what else basil so it's up to you so but that can be very optional and then we're going to uh, mix this one and dip this or dredge this into our into our um, marinated thing <laughs> is that thing and so set this aside for maybe 10 minutes until oh even if you you don't really need to um, marinate that long five minutes would that be okay okay and then i will just wash my hands so here in my multi multi-purpose cooking pot i'm going to turn on my flame and once the pan is heated up i have to add some extra virgin olive oil but not necessarily that you're going to use olive oil so it's up to you approximately let's say uh, seven tablespoons and then we'll just spread it like this there you go we'll wait until the pan is ready and the oil is heated up Remember friends, cooking and baking, they always make fun and easy here at our little kitchen. It also gives you the ideas on what to prepare for your family's next meal. My simple goal in my kitchen is simply for fun, sharing, and learning. So let's try to fry our chicken uh, for a few minutes only. So let's fry both sides mga uh, 2 minutes lang po. So let's fry good for uh, 2 minutes per side para medyo brown lang po siya no. So this is done for now and then I'm going to transfer this one into my platter or platter. 
once uh, you see the browning of the skin this is perfectly fine just like that and then i prepared here lots and lots of i use one head of coarsely chopped garlic and large white cooking onions we're going to saute this one until this is uh, translucent or fragrant or until this will become uh, slightly golden brown okay there you go this is good so we're sweating it or this is part of caramelization process so saying your uh, spices which is onions and garlic we're going to add that one okay there you go friends and uh, we are going to add our one can or 400 ml of this store-bought coconut milk. So there you go. And set this aside. Let it absorb maybe for um, until such time that the liquids will absorb but not really really very dry so i'll have to cover that with my lid or takip and set this aside for now i use um, medium over medium flame friends friends did i mention to you about this coke store bought coconut meal uh, 400 ml this is equivalent to two cups in total so if you have the access uh, to have that freshly squeezed coconut milk that is great and the taste it's wonderful so friends for our appetizer I have here crunchy sweet mangoes so I'm going to use okay one and uh, two I love mangoes friends So we're going to wait for another five minutes for the absorption of the coconut milk. So just wait for another three more minutes but the chicken is cooked already I just left absorption of the coconut milk so this is our crunchy green mangoes Okay, this is good <laughs> so there you go medyo malapot lapot na po ang ating gata but this is great this is the output of our chicken with uh, coconut milk
sour crunchy green ma mangoes they're done set that aside for now and i'm going to turn off our flame this is done so once again friends thank you very much for watching laani's kitchen and food creations till the next time so by the way my rice is ready i want to make sure rice is ready